Hi, this is Roger in Finland and today we're going to take a look at how to use tabs or stack timelines as it's called in DaVinci Resolve. Underrated and simple feature, but a fantastic one that I think deserves some attention. One of my favorite features that came with version 16, I believe, and if I'm wrong, please feel free to politely correct me in the comments, is the use of tabs in the edit page. You can navigate and open your timelines using the media panel. So here I can go into my timelines. Now we have the basic edit timeline open here. If I double click on the other timeline, then this is going to be loading my second timeline into the timeline. You can also do it by clicking here and picking them from this list. And this list will show all the timelines that you have in your project. Or you can use tabs. They were a revolutionary feature in web browsers some years ago, a long time ago, but now we have it here. To enable the tabs view, you go here and click on this option, which will toggle on the tabs. It's actually called stacked timelines, but I believe that tabs would be a better naming. And now here we have them. This is the second timeline. I can add another tab here and select which timeline do I want. Now it's going to load it here. It's a little bit quicker to then navigate between one and the other. But also, if I would have this closed, now I have only this one tab and I open it from the media panel by double clicking here, it will open a second tab. Another functionality from these tabs is that they are not locked into what you open them in the first time, but you can change the content of the tab however you want. Something that you cannot do, as you can see right now, is to have the same timeline open in two tabs at the same time. I don't know why would you need that, but it is a limitation. It might seem like a minor feature. This is something that I think I accidentally turned on at some point, then lost it, and I was quite upset until I figured out how to turn it on again. So I think that this is a really useful thing to know. There you go. It's called stack timelines. I'm going to call them tabs. I know that this is an important feature for me because I could not even think about going back to not having tabs or stack timelines in the feature itself. I hope you found this video helpful and useful. If you did, please like and subscribe, and we're gonna see you soon for some more content.